Your wind analysis makes Forma really strong and powerful and preferred in the industry. So I click on the wind analysis and the very first thing that I want you to do is like detailed wind, rapid wind, these two types of analysis, okay? So if you want to run the rapid wind analysis, understand how your design changes impact wind conditions through real-time prediction in the rapid wind analysis, run detailed wind flow and wind comfort analysis to get more accurate simulation of different wind directions and speeds. So when we click on this question mark, let's click on learn more. Let's come over here and then let's click on learn more for the rapid wind analysis or the wind analysis in general. So there is a great comparisons in between, okay? So the difference between rapid wind and detailed wind analysis. The rapid wind analysis is uh, basically guiding you as you design. So it's giving us really fast results. Detailed wind analysis, or we can just take this. Rapid wind analysis is an AI model, okay? And its detail level is directional for use in the design phase. And the detailed for is the documentation, wind speed and estimated wind comfort. Wind speed and the estimated wind comfort. When to use it? I think this is the really important uh, part. While actively designing documentation and final results. So, if I switch back to my analysis here, what I'm seeing now in my detailed wind analysis. So you see, vegetation is not con like it gives me an alert, but it'll come to that as well. So when we click on this, we immediately receive this comfort analysis, right? What is this comfort analysis? So it's basically giving us this legend here. You can sit on this location. You can stand here. You can stroll. You can walk uncomfortable location. And you can come up with a, like a custom circle or site limitations. So if I click custom circle, I can start running the analysis on somewhere that I want to run, regardless of my location. So if I run it to here, for instance, it's going to be giving me a rapid wind analysis on that particular location, you see. But if I come back and if I run this and that, it will create my analysis on the project site that I'm working that is also underlined with this circle. So when we see this, like you see, we are having this like uh, percentages here that are indicated on this legend. So 28% is comfortable for sitting, 55% is comfortable for standing, and 17% is comfortable or okay for strolling. And this is giving me an alert alert right now. So what is that alert is? The rapid wind analysis doesn't interpret trees as blocking wind. Please run a detailed wind analysis to take vegetation into consideration. So when we, come, when we zoom in, what we see here is we are having trees, but it's not considered in our analysis. And when I come over to direction, also, the direction uh, can be tra traced within this analysis. And we are seeing like the majority, by the, let's go step by step. Majority, or we are seeing a wind rose here that is showing us how much wind we are receiving from each direction. So we are receiving a lot of wind from west, it says. And it's showing us the square uh, meter per second. So starting from zero to 10, and we can edit this one, okay? We can edit this limit. So if I make it like starting limit is one, and we can say five to this. And when I click done, couldn't do it, I guess. Can we see any results changing here? Okay, we see that. So let me retry this edit thing. Scale by default. And limits are like 1 to 10. So we can say 1 to 
uh, five, but when I say five, it's not taking it into consideration. When I say 50, would it be working? Let's see, done. Yeah, it's 50 now, so probably we need to change them all. And if I switch back to this, I switch back. And when I click here, what I'm seeing is it, uh, it's showing me this direction and it's showing me also how much like 47%, 40, 51% on this particular color and 2% on this color. And you see, it's showing me the like the zero and the, like it goes down onto the uh, speed. So this is a graphical method of showing me how much or which percent we are receiving this direction and this speed. So another type of direction here we are receiving these are all rapid wind analysis right and when I come to detailed wind analysis so when we run this detailed wind analysis which is this one okay it will take maybe like really small 30 to 90 minutes and this also has for like a this also let me run this it also has an option for you to visualize the vectors based on the height as well so we are like this analysis will take time so why don't we switch back to proposal one as it runs through and why don't we run the same wind analysis for proposal one as a as a like a rapid wind analysis and rapid wind analysis is directly opened here comfort or direction And you see we are having these results we are having different results here than the other one and when we come to directions directions are usually the same but the speed yeah you see it's really yeah the speed and this graph is pretty similar to what we had in the previous one but you see the wind uh, detailed for the detailed wind analysis it requires I think more information or it's analyzing now somehow but we'll be running this detailed wind analysis for this particular exercise or for this particular uh, result as well and one thing I want to show you here if like if I draw a box here let's see what we're gonna have when I draw a box here so when I draw a box here Let's click enter and have this as our design and the rapid wind analysis will immediately change and direction also will change you know I or the speed will immediately change because now we are having a new member to this analysis new messing to this analysis right so what I can do is I can delete this guy and then we'll see that this analysis will immediately runs itself or refreshes itself and then we'll receive different results. Also, let's run this detailed analysis for this one and we can switch back to proposal number two and you see it's still like running these detailed analysis for the wind as well so run detailed analysis i think is, is it running it so we'll see the results if it's running it if not then we won't be able to see the results uh but where it's running this analysis And when we say, yeah, it's, I think, let's run detailed analysis for this particular location. 
And what we'll be doing in the meantime is I'll be coming over here to area metrics as it's being run. And while we are running the uh, other analysis, we'll come back to the wind analysis. So that's pretty much it on how we run the wind analysis. I'll see you in the next one as we go through the microclimate.